good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of the day it is, wherever you're watching the video right now. Uh, I got a package in the mail today, and as you can already tell, it's from trainworld.com. These are two pieces of rolling stock that I ordered from them. Been really anxious to get my hands on these, been waiting quite a while to get them. And there's more of a story behind that, but we'll get to that as soon as we get the box open and everything out. So, as we can see, one of these is the new Bachman Spiteful Brake Van that came out last year. And also the Great Western Van, which I believe is a couple years old, actually. And Train World also went ahead and threw in uh, some paperwork, which we'll go ahead and take a look at here after we look at the models. So, while I'm getting these models out of the boxes, I'll go ahead and explain to you all about that little issue I had getting these. And I actually purchased these last year around uh, I think no, sometime in mid-November and I bought them from a different retailer not Train World but when I purchased them from the retailer before I found them a good deal 55 bucks for the two of them well 55 bucks each and I thought that was a great deal which is why I bought them where I did then right after I placed my order I got a message from the retailer saying that they were on back order it's like okay and basically they said as soon as they'd have them in was mid December and it's like well I wanted them earlier than that but I figured out oh, well I'll wait and because what I wanted to do is I wanted to get them in for the uh, show I went to that I participated in with Division 11 and obviously that didn't happen. Well, mid-December came around and I messaged the uh, person again and I told them, I'm like, hey, I was told mid-December on these models, still no update on them. And they're like, oh, you know, we still haven't heard back from the manufacturer, no idea when we're going to get them in. And it was like, I didn't know what the big holdup was because Bachman Industries had them in stock in their warehouse. So it's like, you know, why is it taking you guys so long to get them? And unfortunately, after two months, it was one of those deals I told him, it's like, I want my stuff or I want my money back. It's like, I've been waiting two months. I still don't have the models. It's like, come on. And in the end, they went ahead and refunded my money. But I looked up, looked up information on their, on this retailer on the internet and if you go on and look, there is basically a whole bunch of form posts and everything. Uh, pretty much the retailer is a guy and his son out in California running a business out of their garage. Basically, it's a third party. They honestly never have the product. They'll basically, you place an order from them and they will order it from the manufacturer and have it shipped directly to your house. That's how it works. They never see the item. And... I mean, I can't disclose the uh, name of the retailer because possibility I'd be facing some legal action. But, I mean, unfortunately, sometimes what you do to save a dollar really doesn't work out in the end. And, of course, I had to go and buy these from Train World, but at least I got them. Well, I was going to go ahead and look at these next, but my spiteful brake van's got some issues. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. The... Uh, Glass is not where it's supposed to be. It's actually floating around in the van there. Uh, whoever was on quality control that day must not have been paying attention. But I'm going to have to take this apart and fix that. And then we'll go ahead and look at these pieces of rolling stock afterwards. Just throwing in a clip here of the repair job. I'm just using regular super glue to adhere these windows back in place. I would have preferred using model cement. But unfortunately I don't have any of that at this time. So... I just have to make do with this and the big thing is making sure not to get any of the glue on the windows so just set them in place give them a little pressure down and go ahead and hold that till the glue adheres the plastic back to the or the windows back to the plastic right so with repairs out of the way we can go ahead and look at the spiteful brake van now and to start off with, you get a bag of parts with it, and there's just a spare coupler in there and some lowering blocks if you want to lower the couplers to standard large scale height. 
and for some reason you get a Bachman Williams 2017 catalog and that's a little odd in my opinion because the spiteful brake van didn't start shipping until I believe mid 2018 so it's kind of unusual that Bachman would be offering you a catalog that's over a year old at that time that's just my thoughts and lastly you get a bit of paperwork here which is Unusual because it gives you a changing polarity for locomotives operating on DC track, but you do have information on changing out couplers and lowering couplers as well. But that out of the way, we'll go ahead and start looking at the brake van itself. And probably the first area we'll start with is the face. And I gotta say, my personal opinion, I think Bachman nailed the face perfectly. That definitely looks like the character we all remember from the TV series, or at least those that grew up with Thomas and Friends. And so, yeah, definitely good marks on the face there. And pretty much everything else is just the equivalent of the stock standard brake van that Bachman released for large scale before. The only difference is you got the face. Uh, it is nice, you know, either way we got like little rivet details and the decals and details around the wheels like the brake shoes and what have you, coupler details, buffer details, but like I said before, overall it's still the same brake van as it was when it was first released by Bachman, it's just the only difference is you got a face. And if you haven't already, I recommend checking out Terrence the Tractor 525's channel. He actually did a review on the HO scale variant of the spiteful brake van that Bachman released, and uh, so if you get the chance, go ahead and check him out. I'll leave a link in the video description. But that's pretty much it for the Spiteful Brake Van. I think we'll go ahead and look at the Great Western Van next. So we've transitioned over to the Great Western Van. And just like the Spiteful Brake Van before, you get a bag of parts, couplers, lowering blocks. Don't need to go over that again. Uh, you get a Bachman Trains 2016 catalog. And I just noticed that's the 120.3260 from their Spectrum line. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on one of those someday. For some reason, you get a warranty card with this, and I never send in the warranty cards on rolling stock. The only time I've really done this is on locomotives I've purchased, and that's only because some of the models I've got are well over $1,700. So, and you get the sheet again. Don't need to show that. But we'll go ahead and look at the Great Western van now, and... This is just a recolor of Bachman's ice cream van. They also have a fruits and vegetables van and an explosives van. But the Great Western van was the most appealing to me. Uh, really nice. Honestly, it looks like a classic piece of rolling stock from the series. You know, like season one, season two. But uh, details, you do have latch details. No moving parts. Rivet details all over. That's nice to see. Uh, just like the brake van or pretty much all of Bachman's rolling stock, you got the buffers and coupler detail, that's nice. And down below, uh, brake shoes, brake gear, all that stuff. And not really anything on the bottom, but yeah, it's a pretty nice model. Uh, one thing I have brought up a couple times is it would be nice to see one of these vans with a face on it and be another troublesome truck, but I mean, I've pretty much lost hopes of that ever happening with what Bachman's 2019 announcements were like but yeah this is overall a pretty nice van uh, one thing I do want to do before we uh, finish up here is I want to do a comparison of the spiteful brake van next to the brake van that preceded it and we'll go ahead and do that next so here's the two brake vans side by side and we got the spiteful brake van which was announced back in 2017 and the standard brake van which was announced back in 2012 and you can see they're basically just the same van, like I said earlier. The only difference is one has a face, one doesn't. Now, this one here that I've had, I put knuckle couplers on it when I got it because that's the type of coupler that I use on my railroad. And, of course, the spiteful brake van and the Great Western van, those will be transitioned from hook and loop to knuckle here shortly. And just for fun, here's a comparison of the Bachman Great Western van next to my custom Season 1 Troublesome Truck, which is basically just a standard Bachman wagon repainted. And I gotta say, comparing these two, the Great Western van really looks nice next to, you know, existing Bachman rolling stock. And I think one thing's for sure, this would definitely look great if you had a train of like three or four of these 
behind one of your engines. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with the Great Western van. Really happy to have it. Here's the paperwork Train World threw in with my purchase. And I won't look at this too long just for sake of time in this video, but got a 2019 Pico catalog and looks to have some really good stuff in it. I'll have to take another look at that here later tonight. Uh, something about needing help with a starter set and decoder policy, I don't think that applies to me. But what I was really interested in was this sheet here, which has various large-scale models from various manufacturers on sale, it looks like. And if you see anything you're interested in, you can pause the video and take a read. But what I'm what really got my attention was Toby here's only $179.99. He's a model I'd like to pick up later this year. You can see they also got the Lynn for $174.99. That's a good price. Uh, the Spectrum 260 Steam Locomotive, $679.99. That's a good price because those models retail for over a grand. And they even got the 244 Forney and the 040 Porter. Those models have been discontinued. So, nice to see those. Peter Street Streetcar, $149.99. That's another model I'd like to get. And then down here in the corner, I also saw they got the Spectrum Tank Cars. $79.99 and $69.99. That's pretty good price for those, too, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's... I got stuff on the back, too. Again, if you want to take a read of any of that, uh, you can go ahead and pause the video. But... Let's move on. So the last thing is, how much did I pay for these models? Well, the spiteful brake van itself set me back $59.99, and the Great Western van came in at a couple dollars cheaper at $57.99. And once you tack on the $14.95 that I paid for shipping, the grand total of these models is $32.93. And that's basically the cheapest I could find these for. The first retailer that I dealt with only had them for $55 a piece, which, you know, you saw how that worked out, so it just goes to show that cheapest isn't always best. But, again, I purchased these models from trainworld.com. I'll leave a link to their website in the video description if you wish to check them out. I was not told to mention them. I'm just, you know, telling you guys where these models came from, if anyone's interested in picking them up for themselves. So at the end of the day, I'd recommend these models to anyone who's into collecting the large-scale Thomas & Friends line from Bachman, or even those who are into collecting large-scale in general. Keep in mind, however, that these models are not going to offer the same kind of quality that you might find in Bachman's Spectrum line, or even from manufacturers such as USA Trains. These models here have a quality all of their own, and that's what makes them stand out. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. I'm heading off, but I will leave you with some footage of these models running.